Hey guys, it's Erin. It's Monday, and I'm not your Monday, but I am a sub, and Chris couldn't make your video today, so you're seeing my face. That was slightly creepy. Anyway, this week's theme video, if you haven't watched it yet, you should go watch it. It's somewhere over there. Yeah, you should go watch that one, and so you'd be all filled in. You can come back to this one, and you know what's going on. But... This week's theme was from a, uh, a question we got in our inbox, and I was basically saying if she should be out in, out in college to her roommates who were vaguely kind of homophobic, and if that she should be, like, more, if she should stay closeted for the sake of them. But, so, so here's my, here's, here, ready, 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 who, here's my two cents. You get it? You get it, two, you get it? Anyway, um... Here's my two cents on the issue. I feel like you should... There, th I know there are reasons why you should stay closeted. Obviously, there are very good reasons. One of them, which I think is not a very good reason, is for the sake of the comfort of other people. Because unless... Alright. Unless they... Unless you're going to be put in a situation where you could become injured. If you... If you think that, hey, if they find out and then they're going to hurt me... Either whether it be like emotionally or physically, if if I'm gonna be in danger, if I'm gonna put myself in danger by by expressing who I am, then you should be like, then I think you should wait until you're out of that environment, and it, it just it would be go over so much well better. But if they're vaguely homophobic to the point where, well, I think that a, the majority of homophobia comes from the fear of the unknown, because I feel like a lot of homophobic people they don't really know. They don't really know someone who is personally like they don't they don't have a brother who or a best friend like my best friend like she really close friends when I f she before like before I told her she was all like ew that's gross and was like she didn't she just didn't get it and I guess she could be she was homophobic but when I was like hey um I like this girl and she was like oh all right. And I just, I just think over time, she, she kind of just realized it's not as scary as I thought it was, and that she kind of realized that I was the same person who I was, like, a couple weeks ago when we were best friends. Like, she didn't, she realized that they're, like, normal people walking down the street every day. Like, it's not this giant, big, crazy, it's not like this, this gay guy sitting over here with, like, a pink shirt on and, like... Or it's not some big butch lesbian going on hitting on like I feel like I feel like that's the stereotype people always think of, and it's really not that. And I think that the ignorance of most people is where a lot of homophobia comes from. So if it's that kind of situation where they're kind of like, they're like, oh yeah, I'm homophobic, and they're like, they don't really know. I feel like if if you just came out and was like, hey, listen, um, I just wanted to let you know that I'm gay. And they could be like, okay. But I think it's definitely something you need to feel out. Because I feel like you definitely can feel the vibe you're getting from people. Like, maybe you can casually bring up something gay. Like, oh, hey, you want to watch Ellen? Like, <laughs> unless they're like, ew, no, because she's gay. Then, I mean, like, obviously, maybe you should be like, oh, alright. Maybe I should just hold off for a little while. But I think if... it, The more you become friends with them, I think the more they're just going to be like, oh, okay, alright, yeah. Alright, this isn't that scary, but uh, that's that's just how I feel. The other part of the video was if we were in college and if we're out. But I'm not in college because I'm still in high school because I'm a loser. But I'm still in high school and I feel like if I were going to go to college, I, when I go to college, I know I'm just going to be, I'm not going to hide it. I'm not going to recede back into the closet because I've already done that. And I feel like I've spent so much time trying to hide who I was to all these different people. And I just, like, I came out and I didn't get a very good response about it. So I went back in the closet. And I feel like I don't want to do that again because I've made such tremendous leaps out of the closet. Like, within the last year, I don't think I could go back in. I just, I don't, I don't think that would be something I would want to do. I just, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't... Unless, of course, there's a situation where if I was in a room where, like, they are like, oh my god, no, I like to go beat up gay people on the weekends. And obviously, I'd be like, okay, 
not kind of talk to you about it because I don't know. I don't want to put myself in danger. The other part for the challenge is what is your favorite beverage or food? And mine would have to be Arizona. This is like the light version and I don't even know why I bought it. I didn't, I don't know. But this is Arnold Palmer. Arnold Palmer is like my second favorite Arizona, and my first one would be Arizona iced tea, like the like the the regular one, cause literally like my blood is just Arizona iced tea, cause I I drink like three of these a day and it's it's really bad, but maybe I should be drinking the light one, but um, I guess that's it. That's I did this in one take. I'm kind of proud of myself. Um, yeah. So wow, well, that was. I don't know what to say. But, um, thank you for watching this. Make sure you thumb it up. Thumbs up. Um, yeah. And, uh, I'll see you guys next time someone else can make a video.